Hello everyone. I don't have any specific advice to tell you today. This is just one of those more relaxing videos. With that said, I actually want to go through the journey we all took in software engineering. The journey we all took to get here to where we are right now, right? And for those of you who are subscribers to this channel, thank you for tuning in and welcome back. And for the new ones, my name is Tony. I am over 50. I've been coding since I was 13. I started out with Pascal programming and basic in high school, played around with Macintosh. That was like Mac 2Es or the Macintosh with the small screens, the monocolor ones. And also with IBM PCs, I started playing around with BASIC in there too. And then also playing games like Flight Simulator, right? And also got a chance to deal with, you know, play around with Vax VMS, just real old school stuff. Now, having said that, I want to start out by saying we all started out with a programming language of your choice. In my case, it was Pascal Basic and whatnot. For you, it might even be, you know, who knows, something older like COBOL, machine language. For the new ones, maybe it's uh, JavaScript, maybe it's Python, you know, whatever it is. But there's that one programming language that sparked a passion within you. And with that said, you decided to pursue a career in software engineering, whether whether you went through college or some degree, doesn't necessarily have to be software engineering, but just a degree that involves programming, for instance. Or you went to boot camp to have a career in software engineering because, hey, everybody's heard, right? I mean, your parents tell you that, hey, go into software engineering, you'll never be laid off. You'll have a good life, you'll have good pay. So whatever that is, we all decided to pursue that career. 